raw fusion. So join the movement and try something fun. Hi, I'm Chef Mika. Welcome to Raw Fusion Foods. And we have a honey and rose water chia seed pudding. This is a really simple, easy dish. It's out of our Indian book on rawfusionfoods.com. And we have, to start, two cups of almond cream. And we show you how to make this on our show. So we're just gonna add this to our mixing bowl. This recipe we're going to throw together now and then we're going to come back to it because we have a half a cup of chia seeds here and chia seeds expand really quickly. So we're going to add them in and we're gonna let this sit for about an hour and come back to it. Then we'll get it ready for serving. Now we have one third cup of honey and an interesting little trivia is that the Indio, in Hindus used to believe that honey was one of the five elixirs of immortality, which I thought was very interesting. I'm kind of curious what the other four were, but I'll take honey, I'll take that. And we have one teaspoon of rose water. It smells like roses, it's so amazing. So to find rose water, I've found this one in my mainstream um, specialty store, but then I went to an Indian market and I found one that looks like this in a glass bottle. So it is out there and you can find it. Now I have one fourth teaspoon of ground cardamom. And then when we're just gonna mix this up, and come back to it. I have a really funny story to share with you about chia seeds. So my fiance, I was teaching him how to make smoothies and I made him one with chia seeds in it. So he decided he was gonna do it on his own and he put about a cup of chia seeds in the Vitamix and guess what happened? All of a sudden it went, making bad noises and he looked in there and it got bigger and bigger and bigger because chia seeds expand in size and all of a sudden there was this hard rock of goo that wouldn't come out of the blender and he had to almost chisel it out the point of the story is they do expand in size so I was putting in one spoonful of chia seeds a small spoonful and he was putting in a cup but I thought it was hilarious. So we're going to let our chia seeds sit in the refrigerator and then you're going to be amazed at how big and bold and beautiful they get in the refrigerator and then we're gonna come back and serve it with some crushed pistachios. And here we have some grapes and sliced bananas. You could use strawberries or kiwis or whatever for A lot of people like to put goji berries in there, but this is our Indian recipe. So we're gonna stick with rose water and honey. Okay, come back for part two. Okay, back with the chia seed pudding. So check this out. Look how beautiful that looks. It's thick and gelatinous, and that's a good thing. Now, one thing about chia seeds is they do look different. It's so like the first time you've ever seen anything like this before ever, you still have to try it. It's so good. I remember the first time I made this for my girlfriend and she was like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I just can't eat it, I just can't eat it, just, it's different, I've never seen anything like it. And she ate it and she was like, the look on her face, she was like, this is so good. And then she ate the whole bowl and I made some, a big portion such as this, a party dish size and she devoured it. And now she makes it all the time. But this is a really great thing. Just put this in like even at the, in, at the end of the evening and just make it for your breakfast. It's very simple. Like I said, we're gonna garnish with some grapes and you have some sliced banana here. A 
although you can use strawberry, mint. A lot of people love like cacao knobs and right here we have some um, crushed pistachios. So there you go. This is one of my favorites and it'll soon to be a family favorite of yours. Thank you for watching and remember saving the world starts with you.